Hi, it is Ai Gam time again. So after I have shared that uh, the ancient Chinese martial art is about momentum exchange or momentum handling and the relationship with the Newton's uh, classical physics, namely the uh, impulse momentum theorem. Uh, there are many Wing Chun friends who message me, ask me to uh, elaborate or describe further so that uh, we can make use of it. Okay, so today I like to share with you. Okay, and I have my list here so that I can cut down the time to share with you because many things here. Now, uh, it is important that uh, we know exactly what the ancient uh, Chinese is talking about. Okay. Uh, only that way we can avoid that uh, guessing my interpretations uh, those type of uh, things which is a time waster which is can waste your whole life on this okay for example if you watch uh, my video in the recently on the Qi and Jing stuff okay we know that in 1930s, the pioneer in the uh, in the China, the China Chinese martial artist pioneer, the grandmaster, have already described thing about Jing clearly in terms of physics, okay, modern science, and that is what we need because we want to know what it is, okay, and it is not up for open discussions oh i think this is chi i think this is jing okay it's not up for open discussions okay this is the reason why we want to make things clear or, or, or based on science see for example grandmaster ma li tang described this uh jing in in a, in scientific way, so today we can really clearly understand what it is. Oh, Jing is just force, like in the mechanics, physics, a force in a three D space, a force, a force will have a vector, vector. and then uh, uh, Jing is this force which is just an application of a strength. Okay, and then in order to to develop the strength and then this uh, this a uh, uh, force or jing one need the physical uh, uh, mechanics and then the chi or the energy is the energy to support this uh, physical uh, 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 movement or the physical activity so it is really clear okay it's uh, no longer need to have any type of guessing. Otherwise, like today, if you look at that, people say this is Qi, that is Qi, including people say uh, Jing is the manifestations of Qi. Huh? What the heck are you talking about? Well, people can keep arguing with that and you can see this internal using all the mantra, everything. But wait a minute. The people who is in 1930s who fought and who know all this pioneer of uh, whatever uh, the, 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 the different art in the China already write it down clearly. Okay? So we need to really know what it is. It's not an open discussion. If we don't know what it is, we can get there. Face it. Okay? So, uh, we know fighting is uh, uh, an, an exchange of momentum or momentum change. And that actually fit into the input momentum theorem really nicely. Okay? And we know in fighting, okay, in fighting, because it's a momentum exchange, it is just the change of momentum convert to the force 
say you want to have a collision, or from the force, you convert that to the momentum change. And that is what when you issue force, meaning that you have a mechanics to generate this force, you, uh, you, you, uh, you, 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 uh, 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 how to say that? You issue this force, okay? Or when you have to take this force, receive this force, or neutralize this force, now you need to change to convert the force to the momentum change, okay? So that is, that is described in the impulse momentum theorem, okay? So, uh, that's why that is uh, really important that uh, we know this impulse momentum theorem because uh, this is the, the jewels. Once we have it, we know what happened, okay? It's like a crystal ball, it's like a jewels that once you have it, it can transform and it can, it can use it for analyze and so forth, okay? Now, so why is this uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, theorem impulse uh, uh, momentum theorem so so uh, so important? Because we know the bottom line is fighting a fight a uh, bottom line of fighting is exchange of momentum, right? And now we map that to the law of physics, okay? And by just knowing this law of physics, we cover all the basis of what fighting needs to be okay low speed or high speed when you get into the uh, impulse momentum theorem you cover that so in every day's training we focus only one thing momentum okay and then we have the uh, impulse momentum theorem to clearly describe what happened okay and you can we can use uh, the impulse momentum theorem in every way, all aspect of, uh, of our training to make sure that we are on track because the bottom line is exchange of momentum that's all, okay? so let me go through this with you once before I go to uh, show you the example in details, okay? now as I have said, this is the, uh, the, the, the teaching or the, the uh, descriptions, it's better said description, the scientific descriptions of uh, Dr. Ma Li Tang or Grandmaster Ma Li Tang, what Jing is about, okay? So we know exactly what it is. And now, uh, wait for me well, one second. Now, this page, which is I sum up and I map everything up together, we know that if we want to do a conversion, okay, so this is the impulse momentum theorem. If we want to convert force to momentum, okay, or momentum to force, this is the relationship. So you know force here is involving the change of uh, velocity, since our mass, human mass, cannot change, and then the time, okay? So this equation itself tells us what is the component we have to be uh, watch out while we convert uh, from force to momentum change and momentum change to, 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 to force, okay? So you want to issue force or farging, you know that you are for uh, conversion, the uh, momentum change to the force. And when you want to neutralize force or you want to receive force, so forth, you want to convert force back to the momentum change, okay? Or to dissipate it via, moment, uh, via, via movement and so forth, okay? So, so this is the, 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 the important thing. Now, this is about conversion force to momentum, momentum to force, okay? And also, over here, we know that by handling this time here in this equation, we can control the penetrations of the force we issue, okay, or the collisions uh, we created, 
Okay, this is the time. Okay, so uh, here this is important. If we want to have a momentum change here, that means we need to have the mechanics, the muscular uh, strength, the gravitational force. We, we need this thing, okay, in order to do momentum change. And, and once we have the momentum change, we can create the force. And vice versa, if we have a force, we will use this to create the momentum change, meaning that you now from momentum change, I can go to the force to generate the force. I, from the force, I can go back to generate the momentum change, but I need the mechanics and I need the uh, muscular strength and I need the uh, 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 gravitational force. Okay? Now, that is the name of the game. Okay? Where using this theorem, you can create that provided you know the mechanics here okay so this you know the theory but if you want to implement it you need to know the mechanics here okay now energy is coming on here which is supporting this activity okay the energy supporting this activity so chi is just uh, like a battery in your cell phone or your smartphone to support your smartphone activity and uh, the, uh, the, the bottom line is that uh, your food and your breathing if you don't have your food and your breathing nothing will work you know if we don't eat and no uh, don't breathe we die okay so activity and your motion you always need energy to support however in order to convert from your momentum change to your force you need the mechanics the the muscle strength and the gravitational force and also vice versa if you want to convert the force back to this that that is what you need okay now so seeing that you get a theory already and we know that it is based on the impulse momentum theorem okay so the uh the the the, the the fighting, which is an exchange of momentum right now, mapped into this uh, impulse momentum theorem. Okay? So, uh, I want to show you the uh, how things work when we convert to the convert uh, or generate the, uh, the, 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 the momentum change, convert to the force. Okay? And you can go vice versa. Okay? If you know one way out, you can go backward. Okay? Now, uh, so let's go for this. Now, we talk about if you want to generate force, you it is you need the momentum change in order to generate force, right? According to the uh, impulse momentum theorem, your momentum change divided by the uh, time of collusion, that is your force there, okay? Or you divide by your time of applications, or ap the durations of applying the, uh, the, uh, the, the force, then you get the force, okay? So whatever you need to have this, momentum change or impulse. So usually when we want to generate a momentum change or impulse, okay, this the following is what happened and I actually uh, uh, split it out into many sections so that you can see clearly and then later on we can integrate that together, okay? The first thing is as we usually know, okay? You stand where your lower part of the body not moving and you punch this way, okay? So you know that is muscular power. Or you stand in the stand and you punch this way without moving the lower part of the body, okay? So you know this is muscular, uh, uh, muscular 
uh, 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 strength, okay, muscular strength, okay. I'm, I have to be really careful here, okay. This is muscular strength, don't call it power, okay. The strength is a strength, okay. So this is muscular strength. So this is muscular strength. It doesn't involve whatever here is muscular strength, okay. At least a big part of it is like that, okay. Now, So, you see here, change of momentum, here is mechanic, muscular strength, okay, mechanic and muscular strength here. So, the mechanic of this momentum change is this thing, okay, see, there is a velocity in my, in my, uh, in my operation. Okay, and there is mass there, so there is a momentum change. Like when I, this is uh, for example here, everything is at still, velocity velocity is zero, and this start moving. There is a velocity there, so from zero velocity to uh, some speed or some velocity, there is a momentum change because momentum change is mass multiplied by velocity change okay and in this case is the muscle muscle strength okay here the same thing this is muscle strength okay so that's one thing now the second type is we know that that is what we call the gravitational force okay so now this is muscle strength, and now if we bring the gravitational force into the picture to uh, create this uh, momentum change, then there are a, a few different ways. And one of the usual way is you punch, you 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 fall forward and punch. We fall forward and punch. You see, there's the using of the gravitational force now, okay? On, uh, on top of this muscular strength, okay? You see that I fall forward. And then another one is as what we know as the falling step. It's fall downward. So the first, the, the first one is falling forward, okay? Like move forward, falling forward type of stuff. You see that? So my body weight is falling forward. The second is falling downward. Okay? The third one is it is going downward linearly, but it is not as much, not as a uh, big uh, 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 magnitude anymore. Okay, for this one, you see, you can see me. It's a big magnitude, uh, a big action that I fall forward. This is a fall downward big action, and for this one, it's still going down. Okay, going down. However, it is like a pressure down, press down instead of going forward. Or going up, downward, okay. So again, okay, forward, falling forward, falling downward, okay. And then this is just pressure, this is just pressure, okay. And then now we want to get another thing is spin, spin, okay. So it's spin, it talking downward, pressure downward with talk, talking, okay. So this is. Pressure downward with torquing, and then this is a linear down pressure, and then this is falling down, and then this is falling forward. Okay, so usually there is this four type of mechanics there with the muscle, the, 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 the muscle strength, adding the what you call it, the gravitational force. Okay. So that is the four type of mechanics. Okay? Now, uh, Wing Chun, as you see in the Chang Q set, it is all on this torquing pressure. OK? 
Okay, talking pressure, talking pressure. Okay, and it is not like usual people say fajin. Okay, you see, I don't move my body. Okay, even though they say that they are not using their body weight, like in this exit, uh, in this uh, more large degree way to falling downward or to fall, uh, to falling forward, they still using their body weight linearly to press on the ground. Okay, this is what usually people do fudging. Okay, or issue force, those kind of stuff, whatever people want to call. For Wing Chun, as in Cham Kyu Set, okay, as in, in, in Cham Kyu Set, the Guan Sao stuff, actually it is the, 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 the force, the, 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 the gravitational force you will use that, okay, it is a talking, spiraling pressure down to the ground, okay, all of those are using uh, uh, body mass. To generate the pressure because it's gravitational force. It's just a matter of what is the magnitude. Okay? So you can say, oh, this is an external arc. This is an external arc. Falling is an external arc. And you say, oh, this is the internal arc. Well, you're still using the same type of a gravitational force. It's only the magnitude and the refinement of the mechanics. Okay? There's no chi there. There's no secret stuff there. That's just handling of the body. Okay, remember, Jing or force is, is just the applications of strength via body mechanics. That's, that's what it is, okay? Now, so you, you can see that this is the uh, force generations from the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the creations or the, the, the generations of the uh, momentum change. So in other words, again, if I want to create a force, I want to generate a force, I want to generate a force, you now I can use the mechanic which is using my muscle and using my gravitational force, such as if I fall forward with my uh, 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 mass going forward using the gravitational force, and then my muscle strength, and I strike like that. Okay? So with this mechanics, I generate the change of momentum. Okay, because velocity is involved here. Okay, from here, velocity is involved here. There's a change of momentum. And when I strike it, I convert that to the force. Okay? Same thing is even if I don't want to do anything, but I say, okay. I just want to use the press, okay? That's still gravitational force. This part, this strike, if I say, oh, I just want to put it here and then I push press like that, still the same, I need to generate the momentum change. And when this hits something, that convert to the force, okay? So get it, get it clear, okay? Now, now <coughs> if If there is a force coming to my body, there's a force of, okay, if this is a force, it's a collision. If it's a pressure, meaning that the force divided by the, the, uh, the amount of the area, there's a pressure. So if this is a pressure come to my body, okay, a pressure, okay, come to my body, then I can use this pressure to convert it to a momentum change to a movement, a momentum change. Say for example, he pushed me and I turn my body. You need, you see, I am actually convert this force to a momentum change, okay? And I actually using the gravitational force, see my body changing, and my muscle strength here to neutralize what is coming to my body, okay? So to generate, the force, I need to generate the momentum change. In order to generate this, uh, this momentum change, I can use the opponent force to convert that. So you can see this two-way switch, momentum change and force, force to momentum change. That is what the bottom line 
uh, which is the basic component or element we use in the exchange of momentum, which is the fighting. Okay, so that's why the uh, impulse momentum theorem is really important because now we can describe Q clearly. Okay, and we can actually compare different type of uh, mechanics. For example, the mechanics of say, for example, straight or linear. Okay, linear press down, linear press down. Okay, if you call this as a falling step. I'll name this as a linear press down. Okay? And for Wing Chun is the talk down. Talking down. Okay? The talking down, like the Chan Q set, the talking down. Okay? So you see the mechanic is different, but still it is a momentum change. Either you want to uh, use that as uh, to, to, to generate force, or you want to use that. That type of mechanics to convert force back to the momentum. Okay, so you need to know that, uh, and we know that it is feeding into the uh, impulse momentum theorem. Okay, now, so for example, okay, for example, if I use this kind of stuff. If I use this kind of stuff, this is actually an opposition against him, right? So he pushed me, he pushed me in. So he pushed me in, okay? And the force is coming in my body, okay? The force is coming, I want to convert it back to the momentum change in order to handle this incoming force. So of course my body will turn okay, to generate that momentum change and using the help of my muscle strength and the gravitational force to complete the job. Okay? Now the same thing is this. So just now is to against him, okay? So I'm, I'm against him because uh, his force is coming. I want to, I'm using this, uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, mechanics to convert it to the momentum change so that I can handle his force. Now another thing is receiving. Receiving is a different animal because for the against, meaning that I stand here in this distance, he stands in the distance, I can do the change or do whatever mechanics so that make sure that uh, the, 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 the touching point here is remain similar, the same, remain the same, and I just do all the mechanics to handle this force, convert the force to the momentum uh, change, okay? Now, now, for the receiving, again, because I want to receive his, uh, his force in, his force, then I need to do to use the retract the retract uh, mechanics okay to retract mechanics you see I spin I retract mechanics so I receive this force here so this is called jie jing receive jing okay and this is the pushing jing okay so even though it's called different type of jing you see the mechanics still, the bottom line still is the impulse momentum theorem. You use the change of momentum convert to the force, or use the force convert uh, back to the uh, to the to the uh, momentum change, and whatever it is, you need the mechanics. If you don't have the mechanics, okay, like for example, receiving. Receiving is you retract the arm, you twerk, okay, you twerk. That is different than. The mechanics of I against I uh, I stand here and then I play with him here moving my body. That mechanics different, so it's different type of a uh, jing or different type of force uh, uh, being generated there or play there. Okay, I hope that this is clear. Now, so like that is about force and now or pushing or those kind of stuff or receiving. Now, let's get to the 
inch power. Inch, okay, again, let's drop the, the, the term inch power, the inch punch, okay? The inch punch, how we generate the force. Now, if you look at usually people, so what they do, in order to generate the momentum change, they use this leg to push up, to push up, okay? That is generate, generating a momentum change using both the gravitational force and the and the muscle uh, the muscle strength okay okay now there's another type of inch power is using the torque pressure remember i'm talking about the spinning pressure the spinning pressure okay to generate the momentum change okay now there's a few things here because this is a physics technically this type of stuff is not Wing Chun. Why? Because Wing Chun is a sticking body short strike or short strike up. It doesn't have the, 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 the space to generate the momentum change. So Wing Chun as in Cham Q is using this torque type. Torque type pressure down to the ground type to generate the momentum change okay and to do that that uh that, that that inch punch okay now the snap the snap okay this snap is actually to shorten the durations of the the impact thus it can penetrate okay if i don't have this snap the, the, the time of the collisions or the, uh, uh, the, 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 the time, the durations of collision will be long. Okay, so for example, say if I push like this, you see this? I push like this, right? The time of collision is longer. Now, if I do this, the time of collision is shorter. Okay, so. As is in this equation, if the time is shorter, the force, the magnitude of the force become become uh, uh, larger. Okay, this is if this time become larger, this becomes smaller. Okay, so the Wing Chun track mark is the snap. Okay, and the real Wing Chun inch power is the torque press with this neck it's not this this is not this, this type of stuff it's a long face stuff it is this type of stuff okay the torque so this is according to the cham Q set if you can see okay it is there okay now so uh that is the example and because of this we have to watch out because we want to use the gravitational force. The lower forebow from the hip, the knee to the ankle to the feet bow, we have to be able to have a good handling of that. Okay? Either you want to do the fall forward type of a mechanics for generate the momentum change, okay? or you want to do the falling step type or you want to do the straight press, the linear press down, you see the linear press down, or you want to do the torque press, the torque press, all this lower four ball has to be really agile and be able to handle. That's why our seven ball need to be really good, uh, uh, well trained, okay? So, we have to talk about this feet ball. Feet ball is like extremely exam uh, important. Why? So it is like the example is like the, the people who run. You see, in running, that is about uh, the difference between the toe strike or, or, or midfoot strike or the heel strike. 
you can uh, go 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 re uh, uh, research on this in YouTube. You can see that depend on where it's struck, it influences the st stability of the person who run. Okay, so that influence stability. Okay, now another thing is remember when we want to convert, say uh, generate the. Uh, momentum change and convert to the force there's conversion we need that feet both there to couple with the ground okay or if we take a, a force coming in I want to convert it back to the uh, change of momentum that feet there has to support us with the gravitational force okay so that feet ball handling is extremely important and in Wing Chun, we always using what the mid sole. If you look at the the, uh, the, 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 the the running, it is the mid sole, you know, the, the mid sole type, not the heel. If you if you use the heel, because the heel is uh, is uh, is pretty how do you say that uh, solid stuff. It doesn't have much a uh, 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 springy type of a uh, thing. You strike the ground. It has a shorter impact time, as in the or collision time, as in the uh, 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 impulse momentum theorem. Say, for example, if we jump down from a stool, if we have a straight knee, and then we have a, we, we jump landed on the uh, on the hill, you see how much damage it is. But if you land in the mid swall, then Due to the impact time is longer in the mid swall, then uh, the damage is less than you you hit on the uh, uh, straight knee down to the to the to the uh, what do you call it to the uh, to the heel. However, if this is slightly bent and it's a mid swall, then you can minimize the impact force. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is that the foot the feet ball. Why do for years ago, I make a big fuss of it. It's because of you want to deal with this gravitational force, okay? And that's why I, when people say when I bring it up, people say, "Oh, you know, you know, your seven ball is like my nine pearls in Yang Tai Chi." Forget about it. Okay, don't make those kinds of interpretations or conversion or, or guessing. I'm talking about this. You can go read on running, what, what all the, uh, the design research has been done, scientific research has been done on how this this uh, fit ball, this this uh, this this uh, th this saw, how it handle the gravitational action reaction force, those things. Okay, because it influences your body stability and influence your capability to to, to create the, uh, the 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 momentum change to generate the force and the influence how you take force in okay to convert it to momentum uh, change to dissipate this force or make use of this force okay so I hope that this is clear for that okay now just now is nice if it is you know like demo low speed is nice but fighting is an exchange of momentum in high speed Okay, so whatever just now what we talk about applied. However, there are many uh, more two more things we need to watch out. So the first thing is actually our footwork. Our footwork. So footwork is about mobility, right? The second thing is the the body handling. Okay. So these two things we need to be to be watch out. So take a really simple example. If you go running, this usual running, run as fast as possible because high, you know, is a momentum change. Running is a momentum change too, right? You see that if you have no good control on your footwork, including this the the, the feet ball I mentioned, okay, you can cause whole bunch of problems with the knees and so forth. 
okay, long term, but in the short term, right away, you can find out that it become unstable. Running is unstable, okay? So when it go unstable, the body is wobble around. And because it's wobble around, the body is wobble around, it get even more unstable and it can get to the point of very difficult to control if you do not have a well-trained footwork and the, the body handling, okay? So, at high speed, everybody can go try it and run, okay? And see, is the body wobble, okay? If it's wobble, that means your impulse momentum conversion, your force and momentum change conversion is very low effective, low efficiency, or even unreliable. So, at the high speed, if we don't train them, the footwork and the body handling, one will not be able to do it in the real fighting, even though if one knows this momentum uh, impulse uh, 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 momentum theorem, Okay, because those are low speed stuff. Now we want to bring this input, uh, impulse momentum theorem to high speed. So we 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 uh, we observe all this body. Okay, the body must not wobble because if the body wobble, then we have to use uh, a different mechanics to stabilize this body, and it's actually make it really ineffective or uncontrollable. Okay. So, this body's handling is what I call the background momentum. Okay, and background momentum meaning that can you handle your bodies and, and your footwork all is one piece so that it be, be able to be smoothly to do the uh, force and uh, momentum change conversion or motion. Okay. Can you do that? Another thing is because everything has inertia. Say I go this way and suddenly I want to turn. There's an inertia. My inertia go this way and I have to turn. Can I handle that properly? That is about the uh, the, the, the background momentum. Okay. <coughs> so uh, again, if somebody said, well, I want to stand there and use my tankian to roll all the round, well, watch out. What are you doing there? Are you increasing the uh, the, the the force or the sorry? Are you increasing the uh, proper momentum change so that you can convert that to the force, or your this tangent change of all this thing like a show business is turned into against you because it becomes the body is wobbling. So for Wing Chun, since we are a center axis up, okay, center axis up. We don't wobble those kind of things because our engine is down in the ground. Remember the torque pressure to the ground? We are torquing there and we keep our center axis vertical balance. That is Wing Chun's engine. Okay? So don't get into this type of stuff, okay? Forget about this. You do this kind of stuff in high speed, you have to deal with that inertial and you have to deal with your body wobble and your handling of your footwork and your body work. So that's why you never see that in MMA. Take the MMA, there is a reality thing. There's inertial there, the body and uh, handling, the footwork handling all is there. There's reality. Nobody can change everything like in the movie, okay? Because everything has to fit in the impulse momentum theorem. So you know, up to now you can see that I'm based everything on impulse momentum theorem. At first it's a low speed and then I jack up the speed to, 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 to show you what it is and here on your training need to put this impulse momentum theorem in the first doing low speed and then jack up the speed, okay, ramp up the speed and see anything breaks and you want to deal with that, you fix that, then you can do high speed, okay? Now, the last thing you need to know is that the breathing, even though we have this uh, impulse momentum theorem, 
we still have to deal with the breathing. We need to build a breathing, the lower abs breathing, not the panting type, but lower abs breathing, the sinking breathing, so that we have stamina and we can support, because that's the energy part, we can support the mechanics. Okay? So that is what is said the, in, the, in the ancient Chinese, it said internally you train that breath, that one mouthful of breath, that is the breathing you need to that, have that, uh, that, that, that energy support. Externally you train your bone, your sinews, because you want to be able to handle this impulse momentum theorem conversion. Okay, So I hope that this uh, explains what it is pretty clear for you guys. And here on, go this way, focus on this one thing, impulse momentum theorem. Okay, and, and uh, your sets and your, uh, your chi sao has to fit in this. Because if it doesn't fit into this, it doesn't fit in the high speed momentum exchange, which is the fighting. And then it becomes a show business. Okay, where you can have your student to show with it, but in the real life, it cannot be used. So you don't understand that chi sao. My body goes lean backward, or my body is go this way. The body is wobbling. You cannot do it in high speed. Okay, so this is uh, to share with you today.